crafters, I'm Daniela with DD's Art Workshop. If you like staying on a budget and DIYs, this channel is for you. Today's DIY is part of a collab with Freckled Mom DIY. Check out the playlist and her social media in the description below. I decided to share this DIY with you guys. A few weeks ago, I did make this Cheshire cat and I wanted to show some of the footage I took. Let's jump right in and let's get crafty. I started off by painting a plain pumpkin and you can get this pumpkin at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I did choose two purples that match Cheshire cat's fur. And all I did here was really just alternate colors, one darker purple and one lighter purple. I blow dried my pumpkin, that way I can go ahead and proceed and do a second coat. I have already drawn Cheshire Cat's face, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting it. To outline, I really like using paint markers when using paint because it's just easier to manage and I feel I do get straighter lines. And I don't use this in every paint project, but in this particular one, I did just want them real straight. Okay guys, now we will move along on how I made the tail. Believe it or not, this is a microfiber dusting pad and I purchased this at Dollar Tree. And all I did here was really just dilute my acrylic paint in water and I am painting the tail. And once again, I am alternating colors, darker purple and lighter purple. Now to attach my tail to the pumpkin, I did use a wire hanger and some thread. And all I did here was thread the wire to the tail and later on I will be drilling two holes in the pumpkin and that's where the tail will go. For the Mad Hatter's teacup, I did use a plastic plate and cup which I purchased at Dollar Tree and I'm spray painting in white and in silver to give it an elegant look and I simply glued it together. For Alice, I did use a Barbie doll and all I did was I removed the doll's legs and I painted in acrylic white. Of course, I couldn't forget Alice's shoes. So with my paint marker, I'm drawing her little shoes on and I will simply paint in black with my acrylic paint. Since she is plastic, I am giving her a varnish finish so her paint does not chip off. You won't believe what I used for Alice's dress, coffee filters. I painted in a light blue and once dry, I did use a razor blade and I marked an X. I did put a little bit of a foam block inside of my cup and this is where Alice will go. And I used a little bit more of coffee filters and I marked an X on those as well because this is where I will insert Alice's legs. I really loved the poofiness these filters gave Alice's dress. And now I'm just checking she fits in perfectly and I'm adding a little bit of glue on the foam block and on Alice's legs so she does not fall off. Okay, now I'm gonna show y'all how I did the mushrooms. All I did was I spray painted some mini round bowls I found at Dollar Tree. And for the queen's crown, I simply spray painted a crown I found at Dollar Tree. 
Of course, we couldn't forget the rabbit ears. All I did was I traced some ears on a cardboard and then I traced it on another microfiber cleaning pad. Once I got the shape I wanted, all I'm doing is I am gluing my dusting pad on my cardboard. And of course, the roses. I'm simply using plain white roses and I'm dipping them in some red paint and I'm letting them sit out to dry. Last but not least, the Mad Hatter's hat. I am using a sparkly Dollar Tree hat as my mold. And I'm using a sparkly poster board as the actual hat. I was kind of in a time crunch, so I will probably do a better DIY on the actual hat. I was thinking maybe more for like a Christmas hat. Anyways, let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this DIY and the final product. If you liked this DIY, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video and turn on your notification bell to be notified on my next DIY. It really helps my channel. I'd also like to remind you, you can do anything you set your mind to just like I did this awesome DIY. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And of course, don't forget to spread love, kindness and stay crafty.